but she was sitting right there as I took a photo watching me. Watching me. What she's saying here is so incriminating. She's making it look like I did something without her knowledge that therefore threatened her peace of mind or implied the overall safety of her home was in jeopardy. Stephanie, you painted the stage for your viewers that you had no idea I was taking photos and that was the reason you were questioning her safety. That's the only thing you supposedly had on me. And you knew that probably wasn't enough to emotionally sway everybody, which is why you made half of your video discussing sexual assault, PTSD, the Me Too movement, all of which have nothing to do with our collaboration. It is so ethically wrong to insinuate that I was taking photos while you were in the bathroom and you had no idea as to why that was the case. That is deliberate manipulation in order to sell a story. And out of the few photos I took, they're only of the same room, the kitchen and the seating area. I didn't walk anywhere else and take any other photos. I wasn't looking around for suspicious things. I was admiring her furniture, admiring her. And she says, I don't have fancy light fixtures. I'm sorry. That's the first house I've been in that looks like that. This is a multi-million dollar home. I was impressed. I was happy for you. And I think you were happy to show it off to me. That shouldn't be used as material as to why you felt threatened by me. She wants her viewers to think she'd never take part in a discussion about Veronica. Well, she forgot to mention and show in her text messages, there's my other phone, that she asked us, me and Zach, to take part in a multi-video documentary about Veronica Wang, Shane Dawson style. Let me read you what she said. This is at the end of August, a couple of months ago, three or four months ago, and this is what she said. Hi, so I have a wild idea. Veronica Wang is gonna be in Los Angeles and want to meet me to talk. I haven't run the idea by her, but I'm pretty sure she'll be on board considering everything. I want to do a more serious docu-series type video, Shane Dawson type with Veronica. Highlighting not only everything that happened with Shook Bang and including what happened between Veronica and I, but also all the personal conflicts that were involved. It would be a good cliffhanger to whatever you have to say to her afterwards. And this is what I said to her. I said, it honestly seems like a little much. I don't live there, I'd have to fly there. And if anything, a Shane Dawson documentary, that's many different days of filming and shooting. I'm not really interested in spending weeks there for this. Yeah, a cloud where we eat and chat, but that's different than a documentary. It would be hard for you, Stephanie, to be that unbiased voice considering you were Veronica's friend and it was your own videos that started Shook Bang making videos, as well as the supposed advice you gave to Veronica to delete them. Like at this point in time, no, no one even knows you stopped being friends or that she treated you so poorly. So it will come across to the viewers as you trying to bring her back to being liked by everyone again, which could backfire. She never even apologized to you or anybody. So I don't think it's a good idea, just my thoughts. She's like, oh, okay, well, I'm still thinking about it, but I'll keep you guys up to date if anything comes into fr fruition, yada, yada, yada. I said, it's an interesting idea, but I think it would only work with someone who wasn't involved. And we'd have to know up front that she's willing to apologize and admit she screwed up. Otherwise, it's a waste of everybody's time. And I say, a quick question for Stephanie. I know you said you were unable to collaborate with me personally, but because you didn't want anything drama related on your channel for prof professional purposes, so how do you think a video of this nature would do with both me and Veronica together, the literal dividing force to any existing drama that led us to not collaborate in the first place? So she said no to me lots of different times. She said no to me over dinner and said she doesn't want any drama on her channel. And then Zach's like, yeah, I'll be dead or if I disagree with her. And then Zach says, I feel like Stephanie is trying to get involved in the drama without being involved in the drama. When she pitched the idea to me earlier, it threw me way off. I am not a predator. I didn't sexually harass Stephanie Sue. I did not sexually or intimately intimidate Stephanie Sue. I didn't touch her, grope her, follow her, abuse her, or anything that she alluded to, insinuated by the way of comparison to her own past sexual trauma, her own past sexual PTSD and the Me Too movement and linking that to her collaboration. I'm sorry, but there was no reason to bring up sexual assault into a discussion about ghosting me for a business meeting, lying about 
why you ghosted me for the business meeting, and then me being angry about it. Sexual assault, Me Too movement, PTSD, abuse, predatory tendencies, definitions about manipulation, and da -da. that has nothing to do with anything that took place. Over six million people have viewed this video. I just checked. Six million people from around the world. And then there's another clip, a surveillance footage clip of an, at that time, unidentified man, unidentified, over top of you, touching you as you scream and cry out. And then there's another clip of you saying to the camera, me too. Whoa, gee, was that by accident? Or was that to get an audience hooked to find out what I did to her regarding the Me Too movement? The Me, the Me Too movement is not what I did to you, Stephanie Sue. The Me Too movement is not what I did to you. Even my own viewers thought that that person on top of her and the surveillance footage was me. Do you think everyone had time to watch the whole hour to find out you addressed who that was, identified him halfway through, 30 minutes later or something? Remember, millions of people viewed this who didn't know who I was. They didn't know what I looked like. They didn't even know my sexuality. And I am being bombarded bombarded with accusations that are coming from your video. You insinuate it by the way you edited it. You alluded to it. And for the record, my comments about the Me Too movement that she chopped and chipped out of context was actually me saying the opposite of what she was trying to portray me as saying. I was saying in context that I didn't make a move because I'm not a mind reader and you have to be mindful because of the day and age and the culture we're in, which is why I didn't make a move and he didn't make a move. And I was upset because I said, wow, eight hours have gone by, which is the opposite of being a predator and having predatory tendencies where you convince them or pressure them to make a move or you actually make a move without them consenting to it. Another thing I want to discuss is the collab on my channel, the three-way collab on Nikocado 3, where it's me, Zach, and Stephanie. And there's a point at the end of the video where we're wrapping things up and I'm saying goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Make sure you check out their channels and subscribe. Give them some support. Stephanie, is there anything else you'd like to say? Obviously, I'm not saying it like that because we're whispering. So I'm like, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? And Stephanie's gesturing and putting her hand up as if she wants to say something. And I'm like, okay, what would you like to add? She uses that, she chops out the context, and she uses it to say I was pressuring her or making her feel uncomfortable like I want to bring up Veronica again. In an ASMR, what, we were just gonna whisper about her at the end of the video? Just ridiculous. She knows exactly what she was doing. She, do you think she didn't know how this would come across on screen? She was trying to emotionally sway her viewers into saying I had predatory tendencies. And of course it looks creepy because we're whispering. Is there anything else you'd like to add? You know, creepy, but we're whispering. Out of context, it looks even creepier.